Today's video is about alcohol and kidney disease. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor. Still have my AV fistula from dialysis. And our channel has the sole purpose of giving you information to help your kidney health. Great, so let's get started. And if you have it, make sure to subscribe to our channel. So we're gonna talk about alcohol and kidney disease. So what do we know about alcohol? All right, so alcohol, if you don't have kidney disease, a lot of alcohol will damage your kidney. Okay, and generally over time, you're gonna need a lot of alcohol to cause kidney damage. If you have small amounts of alcohol, we're talking like a couple drinks a week, preferably red wine, uh, you don't have to worry about that. That is shown to possibly have some protection against developing kidney disease. So that's in reference to people who don't have kidney issues and alcohol. We're gonna talk about alcohol and kidney disease. So if you have kidney disease, Ideally, you shouldn't drink, all right? Drinking causes all types of damage to the kidney, and the more you drink, the worse it is. If you have kidney disease and you wanna have one, two drinks spaced out over a week, three drinks over a week, that is tend to shown okay for the most part and won't cause you any accelerated kidney damage. If you do, anytime you have alcohol, you wanna offset it by having a lot of water because alcohol does dehydrate you, so drink a lot of water if you're gonna have those drinks. Now, if you wanna drink more than that, like a lot of people like to go to a barbecue, a party, a wedding, whatever it may be, and they're gonna have a few drinks. They wanna get a buzz, they wanna get drunk, they wanna get that feeling. And if you have kidney disease, ideally you shouldn't do this, okay? Because it's gonna damage the kidney further. But if you are gonna do it, let's talk about ways to minimize that kidney damage. So what happens is when you have this, uh, when you have the alcohol, all right, what it does, it lowers these antioxidant systems that protect the body and protect the kidneys because the alcohol is creating uh, ROS or reactive oxygen species, which is cell damage. And so your body has these antioxidants to prevent and heal that cell damage. So when you have alcohol, you're depleting those systems because you're causing cell damage. So two things are going on, more kidney cell damage, and then you're depleting those things that help prevent the kidney cell damage. So you're gonna go out there, you're gonna get drunk, all right, you're gonna get buzzed, you're gonna have more than, than two drinks, three drinks, let's say. Uh, preferably try to keep them cleaner drinks, meaning don't have um, alcohol mixed with Red Bull or any of these stimulant type of drinks out there. Um, avoid malt liquors, things with a lot of toxins. You wanna to stick to that more uh, cleaner, pure form of alcohol, whether it's wine, red wine is one of the preferred ones for kidney disease, or if you do alcohol, really straight alcohol without all the mixers and things that are bad for your health and bad for your kidneys. So straight alcohol, try to do it on the rocks. You can use club soda. Uh, a lot of other creative ways to have alcohol, but those are really safe, basic ways. Now, you know you're gonna go out and have a few drinks tonight or during the day or whatever you're going to. What you'd ideally wanna do so that you can keep those antioxidant systems higher, all right, to combat that cell damage, that kidney cell damage from the alcohol. You like to take a vitamin E pill, a vitamin C, all right, those are two most important because those help keep those antioxidant levels up, which then help prevent the kidney damage that's gonna come in from the alcohol. So vitamin C, vitamin E, lots of water. If you're gonna drink alcohol, remember it dehydrates you. It's bad for the kidney. So lots and lots of water. If you wanna go beyond that and take more supplements, there's something called N-acetylcysteine, N-A-C for short. You're gonna need quite a bit of it. You're gonna need about 1600 milligrams, which tends to be like three pills of, of what you can get over the counter online at a vitamin store. But most important, really stick with those two hydration, okay, these three things, hydration and vitamin C and vitamin E pill before you go out drinking. If you're getting drunk and you're gonna know you're, you're gonna be, have a hangover, and later in the night, you should take that vitamin C and E pill again, or later in the day or when you wake up the next morning to build up those antioxidant levels. A lot of other vitamins that alcohol can deplete, like B-complex vitamins also, those are important, but focus on those two, vitamin C, vitamin E, lots of water. To your best kidney health, everybody, this isn't a, uh, this isn't a video saying uh, go get drunk and put, take these nutrients. It's saying you shouldn't drink alcohol if you have kidney disease, but if you are, you can protect yourself with what I mentioned. Thanks for watching, everybody. Comment, like, subscribe. Best kidney health. Bye.